All right, Happy New Year, everybody. This is a video a long time in the making. Uh, not exactly starting in 1973, but a product based on 1973. I picked these guys up at the Philly show a while back in November, I think it was, early December. Um, guy originally wanted, I think, 50 for the hobby, and these were $4 a piece. There's seven of them, should have been about $78. I asked if he would take 70, and he did. So he had no idea if the, um, these, the hits had been hit out of the previous hobby box. We're actually gonna save these for another video. We're gonna have a 25% chance of getting a hit out of these. We now have a 100% chance of getting a hit out of here. And as you know, this is 2022's product. We are looking for Julio. We are looking for Bobby Wood Jr. And that's pretty much it. Wander, not that we're looking for Wander. Wander was in regular, Emil Cruz was in regular. And I am just gonna plow through this as quickly as I can. Our box stopper is JD Martinez. Possible Met, I uh, heard they're looking at him. Not exactly a hit, I'll put these off to the side. And I'm gonna really try to practice not reading every card because otherwise we'll be here all day. So we are just looking for some Stanworthy stuff. Those of you who watched my Wegmans slash Donruss rip know that I did not pull anything Stanworthy. You could argue that maybe the um, Drake London rookies shiny thing is a hit, but it's not like it was numbered and it's not like Drake London is on a team where he can really do anything. So I hope that your New Year's is doing well. Um, Hope you have some goals for the new year. My goal is, one of my goals, is to not overpay for heritage anymore. You know, it's kind of a, I don't want to say it's a kick in the teeth, but it's just interesting that a product can be 100 plus when it comes out, and you just wait a year, and it's uh, like half that. You know what I'm saying? All right, we've got a Julio base. At least we've got one Stanworthy card. Zach Short, and I'm not even, uh, if, you're, if you're wondering if I'm gonna turn these cards over and look for short prints, uh, I'll do that on my own time. I won't do that on yours. Um, I don't think there's really anyone interesting in the short print set. So again, my goal, my goal is to not overpay for heritage. My goal is to cut down on the time on my videos. You know, anybody who knows anything about, not, I'm not saying I know everything about the YouTube algorithm, but the percent viewed is a major factor in if you're, videos I believe are promoted um, and you get better reach. So, you know, a 20 minute video that gets 6% penetration, eh, I said penetration, is uh, not as good as let's say an 18 minute video that gets the same, the same number of minutes, right? So, let's just, let's just go through these. I mean, we're getting, we're doing all right. I mean, we're still looking for our hit. Uh, I guess one thing to note, and obviously, if you know anything about this product, we are not looking at a hot box here, as there are no purple refractors. Um, fun story, when I was on my hiatus, I was still ripping but not posting. I did get a 2023 Heritage hobby box from Fanatics, full price, and it was hot. Um, so I got some nice, fun purples, one of which was a Corbin Carroll, uh, admittedly off-centered. And uh, there were two hits. There was a... Uh, Ryan Mountcastle, I think, uh, Clubhouse Collection to 50. And there was some other, there was another patch. And there was a shiny, I can't remember who the shiny was now. And I think I had like a Oswald Cabrera image variation. So I, mean, I like this product. I know a lot of people don't. Um, I heard a lot of people are excited about this year's because it's gonna be based on the 1975 design, which I need to remind myself what that looks like. So we're doing pretty good with the rookies. Still haven't hit our hit. Thanks for sticking with me. I am up to a whopping 201 subscribers and you are all the most intelligent subscribers and good looking subscribers a, a person could want. Um, it seems like I got to that state by posting the video of me finally ripping those 2022 Donruss value packs that had absolutely nothing in it. And it, maybe because it was short, I have no idea. The algorithm works in mysterious ways. So, let's see. We're pretty much seeing the entire checklist here. 
Andrew McCutcheon, who's back with the Pirates. Josh Hader might be a Yankee, who knows? They're really making me work for this hit, aren't they? And we're gonna do, did I say this? We're gonna do those other, those other packs in another video. Yeah, it's a rookie. Speaking of Ryan Mountcastle. Um, Matt Crash, Otto Lopez, and this guy, Connor Overton. Saw a lot of ink pulled of Otto Lopez, so the joke is always, of course, you got an auto auto, but we just got a base. Making our way through the checklist. Chris Bryant, just a base, thankfully not a hit. Super Nintendo Chalmers. Okay. And I'm starting to feel really good about only paying 50 bucks for this. All right, Spencer Strider's a hit. Take that. Hope you all are doing well. I don't consider Melendez a hit anymore. Seems like people were high on him when uh, update last year, and by last year I mean 2022 was out, but I don't really, I don't really recall hearing his name a lot in the highlight reels of, uh, of 2023. Trey Turner in his Dodger uniform. I don't consider that a hit. I would not mind picking up some C.J. Abrams, some decent C.J. Abrams cards. As, uh, you know, he plays for the Nationals, he's a shortstop, he's young, and he plays in the same division as the Mets, which means he's going to torment me for years to come. So it's almost like hedging my bets. Either uh, I can maybe sort of kind of live with the Nationals doing well, if, uh, or the C.J. Abrams doing well, if I at least have some some cards of his. Okay. You guys have any uh, interesting uh, buying, uh, what do you call it, desires like that? Where you, guys you don't like, but kind of buy, play the other side, for lack of it. It's like playing the dark side in crap, so right? playing the don't come line. Maybe I'll branch out into... Uh, gambling on my on my YouTube channel. Uh, one of those Nolan Ryan cards that uh, are part of the set. Let's give ourselves a little room down here. Take a look at the stand right now. Let's move Royce Lewis down so you guys can see. So we're doing all right. Not doing great. And we got two Elliot Raymond. How do we do this? They're the same. They don't have, they both have English on the back. Doesn't seem like either's a flip stock. Guess it's just that Topps Coalition coming back to bite us. So they really buried that hit, didn't they? I think there's a Bobby Wood on the back. Nick Gordon, oh, we got a shiny. We got our uh, chrome here. And it's Albert Pujols. That's not bad. I mean, it's his last, well, I thought it was gonna be his last year. Hey, it could be worse, right? Of course, it could be better. It could be Julio. George Kirby, and here's Bobby Witt. All right. Hey, let's do this. Let's put this guy up here. Let's put Mackenzie. Mackenzie's another guy who's probably going to torment the Mets for years to come. But he's a pitcher, so eh. That base pile is just getting tremendously large. Seiya Suzuki. Max Scherzer, boo. Okay. I think we're doing okay on time. I think we're more than halfway done. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Get, uh, guys getting any, we got a little bit of snow yesterday, but then it turned to rain, so it's kind of almost, Kind of like the perfect storm in the sense that uh, it snowed and it looks pretty, but I don't really have to shovel anything. So. Do, 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 
do, do, do, do, do. Try to speed this up a little. We are definitely seeing the checklist. Mitch Garver wouldn't have minded the Mets picking him up for their DH position. And yeah, we are. I, this was not my intent to make you guys wait on the hit. Oh, here it is. Austin Riley Clubhouse Collection. Okay. Not terrible. You can go. <laughs> Y'all can go now. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you did. Um, again, not a hot box. Don't think we're getting two hits out of this. Let's come back for the next video where I think we have at least uh, a 25% chance of pulling another hit. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about the, about the rest of this now. Can fall on the floor, ding the corners. We got our Julio, we got our Barbie Wit, we got our Shiny. The Shiny wasn't anybody totally terrible, Pozo. Remember when Jeremy Pena was good? Neither does Jeremy Pena. Here's another C.J. Abrams. Rene Pinto and Steven Writings. Oops, rookie card. Rookie card. Two, ba two packs left to go. Doing pretty well in time. Thanks for sticking with me, especially if you're still here after me pulling the quote-unquote hit. Ah, Spencer Torkelson. That's not bad. Uh, I'll put you over here. At the time, Torkelson wasn't doing too well, but uh, he really he really came on in 2023. Brendan Donovan did not come on in 2023. Last pack. There will probably be no magic as we have pulled our hit. Matt Stram, Kiermaier, Braves rookie pitcher, those always pan out. I'm not being sarcastic, they always do. There's a say a base. Is this a, oh, we got a, uh, is this an image variation? Yeah, we got an image variation. Cool. We'll put him next to, uh, we'll put him right here. All right. All right, so there was some last pass, ma last pack magic. Hope you stuck around. All right, here are the hits. Say a image variation. It looks decently centered. Back isn't a total mess. And Austin Riley, napkin patch, probably getting used. They say it's getting used, but it probably isn't. Let's be real. And a uh, an Albert Pujols. Out of nine, yeah, out of nine ninety nine. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm actually going to rip the, uh, the other seven right now, but uh, that'll be a different video. See you when I see you.